exactly one month before this theme park takes the title for the tallest, fastest and most weightless coaster in the UK. We are here checking out Thought Park. Hello and welcome, welcome to another video. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. Come with us for a day on an island like no other. So as Nemesis Reborn has just opened, I think it's a great idea for us to uh, go on Nemesis Inferno as our first ride of the day today, so we can compare the two. Now we actually remember what Nemesis Reborn feels like. Yeah. Let's have an accurate comparison, shall we? Right now, I think Nemesis Inferno is the better ride. You think it's Reborn, but we can't quite remember what this feels like because it's been almost six months so let's get on nemesis inferno Nemesis Inferno. We did have the Nemesis Reborn t-shirt on to uh, compare the two. What do you think, Sean? Uh, we went front row today. It was absolutely brutal. Never I been on front row before. Never been loved on front row When I say brutal, I don't mean like bad brutal. I mean like it was epic. It was so good front row. I fully recommend at least trying to get front row once. You have to queue an extra like 20 minutes, but it's 100% worth it. It is. It's such a different experience. It Seeing the great. track yeah. dragged up in front of you, thrown around. Oh, it's like it's like a completely different ride. I really want to do Nemesis Reborn front row now so badly. Yeah. But, but it's look at the draw with that one. There's no yeah, there's no queue for the front. That said though, on our run today, the mist wasn't on, which was highly disappointed about. Yeah, it's because always normally making, on. Yeah, always is on. And the moment we're on front row, it's not on. The track does look quite dated. Um, it really is looking worn down and quite Especially brown compared to burgundy now. Yeah. It does need a, a paint job on it because I was looking at pictures the other day of this when it first opened yeah. and the colour was so bright red. I've never seen it like that. So yeah, like it really could do the paint this ride. Yeah. Uh, the station for me is it's terrible. Give me some pride. There she goes, the better nemesis way. Anyway, give this ride a paint job and they give this station a good do-over and I think it's just as good as Nemesis Reborn. Yeah, <laughs> I want the monster. I want there to be a monster. I know the volcano is meant to be the Nemesis. The, the monster there is should the be plane. a monster inside of the volcano <laughs> that squirts flames like a dragon or an no, alien that's the made of flames. Ah, oh, whatever, we'll disagree. But, you know, I absolutely love that ride. I still think I prefer Nemesis Reborn a little bit just because of the speed and the intensity of it. Whereas you were saying you prefer the track layout on that one. I absolutely love the track layout on this ride. I just think it feels more natural, it feels more smooth, and it's a more enjoyable ride experience for me. Yeah. However, Nemesis Reborn is no doubtedly um, a better ride package. And that's why I say this needs a paint, a retheme inside the station, and uh, it kills it for me. I yeah. prefer it. Nemesis yeah, Inferno all the way. 100%. Right, right. anyways, on to the next one. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's an alien. And that means it's time for the swarm. This is it, there is no escape, it's the swarm. 
We have just come off of Swarm. It goes upside down, it goes inside out, it goes round and round, and it feels like it never stops. I used to prefer it on the right hand side, but I'll say it once more. It is much better on the left hand side, just for the pure fact of how it takes some of those uh, inversions. It just feels so much more forceful on that left hand side for me. The rest restraints didn't feel too. Um, claustrophobic although I just don't like those vests on there no yeah they really press into you quite like, a to lot. be honest I do feel quite safe in them though I don't feel I feel like they're as loose as they can be yeah. but you do go upside down a lot in this so I understand why they're there to be honest I never made this comparison before but it kind of reminds me of Nemesis there it goes it kind of reminds me of uh, Nemesis Reborn the what? layout of it I don't see that comparison, but I understand the comparisons in terms of it's an alien. Yeah, that's one thing. There you go. <laughs> and there's a lot of interactions and helicopters crashed everywhere. You know, I did say when it first opened that the, the area reminded me of the swarm area. And coming back here, it just gives me that vibe again. But there you go. That's our guilt thoughts on Swarm. My favourite, Swarm, Swarm, Swarm. And it's great to get back on it in 2024. 2024, and we're on to the next one. Off we go. Off we go. And now we shall face our fears on the first ever horror-themed roller coaster. It saw the ride. It has got the most G-forces in Thorpe Park at 4.7 Gs and you really do feel it even on the front row you come off with a little bit of a headache but that's what I absolutely love so some crazy elements a small compact coaster and just an overall great ride. Yeah I love it. It's, uh, it's, it's built by the same people that make Smiler isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's got the same same roller coaster uh, train anyway, but it's brilliant. I absolutely love Saw. It's one of my favourite rides. Thor Park has got some great rides. So is Alton Towers. It's hard to compare. But this is very unique to any park in the UK. True. So True. great, so great, so much fun. And it really does get some speeds on Saw yeah. the ride, but if you can, then just glance off to the side and you can get an absolutely good look at Hyperia yep. in, in the speed that it's going at. You can try to anyway. That's something that does look great. Yeah, that's something that's uh, changed my perception of Saw. Saw doesn't look nearly as daunting when it's absolutely dwarfed by the roller coaster next to it. Honestly, it's unbelievable how tall Hyperia is. I know we're not here to talk about that, but we are just right next to it. It's literally just to the left of us and it looks absolutely amazing. Of course, and we shall be back here when it does open yeah. for Hyperia, the, the highest, fastest and most weightless coaster in the UK. Yeah. With that said, on to the next one. On to the next one. Here we are outside Colossus and when they said Project Sparkle, that is what you expect. Look at that. It's amazing. If only it felt like a new roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, it's time for the world's first 10 looping coaster. It's Colossus. Colossus, absolutely loved it. It was second row. We couldn't bother to for the front row. Oh, yeah, um, that said, minutes. though, it was a lot better right out of the front row. It didn't feel like the bag of spanners that it usually does feel like. <laughs> um, I absolutely loved back. it, yeah. yeah. Right. Same thing, though, as always. The trains, I absolutely hate. It's just such a struggle to get in and out of them. Yeah. It's so cramped. Do you know yeah. what I mean? For the ride itself, there it goes. It's actually really, really good. I mean, it's a proper classic of Broad Park. Every time I love it, here it comes again. Whee! It is, it's the world's first 10 looping coaster, yep. only to be beaten by the Smiler. Yeah, so it's brilliant. I love it. It could be a little bit smoother or a little bit looser on the uh, on the restraints, 
But apart from that, absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love it. And it's had a good paint job, so yep. there you go. You can't polish a turd, who knows? <laughs> right. On so, to the next on one. On to the next one. And now it's time to go 0 to 80 in 1.8 seconds up 210 feet of track. That's right, it's stealth. Three, two, one, go! Go! So we have just come off of soon to not be the tallest ride at Thorpe Park. Stealth, but still is the tallest ride at Thorpe Park. How do you feel about it? Uh, it definitely had a bit of a rattle today, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. On the way down on the brake run. Yeah. Just went like that. Yeah, even on the way up for me, I felt give me a bit of an headache to be honest. But it was, I love that ride so much. Stop's always been one of my favourite rides. Just up and down, but so scary, so fast, and absolutely brilliant every time. What about you, Axel? I love stealth. To be honest, when I first came to Thought Park, I didn't have high expectations for stealth because it's just a launch. It's one up, one down, and you're done. Um, but it completely exceeded my expectations the first time I went on it. And I always count on stealth to give me a shot of adrenaline, yeah. a shot of exhilaration. Because <laughs> it, it's just great. And I can't bear to think what it's going to be like this time next month when we're over at Port Ventura in its sister park. Oh my God. Going on Red Force. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Stealth but twice the size. The twice tallest as far. coaster in Europe. Oh and it's this but twice as tall. I can't wait. I actually can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many tall roller coasters coming my way this year. <laughs> it's very I'm, true. I'm, I'm jumping at the bit. I just want to get on some. <laughs> oh my god. Right, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, man. Send it. Boom, 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 boom. They've Send got it. smooth operations. And with that said, quickly on to the next one. <laughs> And as we pass the last call cafe, why do we put ourselves through this over and over again? It's probably with the hopes of it getting better. It's time for the ghost train. It's not Darren Brown's ghost train anymore. It's Thorpe Junction ghost train. And you know what? The more I actually go on that ride, the more I come to like it. Uh, you can't see it as a ride, you can't see it as an experience. It is immersive theatre. And what I do like is that Thought Park does take the risk to have something different in the park, in that you go through, you know, a 20 minute immersive theatre experience. And I really do like that, to be honest. They have added a few new things in there as well, um, such as a guy, the guy comes running out at you, don't in that crypt scene. Um, yeah, I mean, more actors at the end. More actors. And the actors do put the heart and soul into it. And it really, if you just give yourself over to it, you can actually enjoy that experience. Yeah, it helps if you've got a bunch of people on there that are absolutely terrifying. It just makes it even funnier. We were sat next to this mum and daughter. Oh my God, they were so scared. I couldn't stop laughing. At one point they were just like, like that. Kicking open the door and running <laughs> through it, just didn't know what was coming next. And that last scene on the train, that <laughs> was too much for them. Just because, we, yeah, we knew what was coming. So <laughs> this is the thing with that ride as well. It's not the same every time. It's always a bit different. Yeah, because it so depends on the actors. Depends yeah, on the actors. Depends, depends what sections they've got open and what they've not. So yeah, it's uh, it's good, good, good ride today. The end was a bit disappointing. But yeah, because they didn't have the post show on. Yeah, you know that bit where you all get held in the room and then yeah. someone runs out and they're like, oh, you know, someone's been thrown, thrown up, up or something. Up. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have that on, you just went straight out to the exit, which I found disappointing because I really yeah. enjoy that part. Yeah, that's um, one of the stronger bits. Is room. what it is. On to the next one. And it looks to have just reopened. Will there be live actors inside today? Probably not. Oh. Live actors are inside today. Let's have a go. Sean! We have just come off Walking Dead the Ride, the complete experience, live actors and all. 
So throughout the first bit of the queue, I was like, where are the actors? But Sean explained to me that that is the safe zone. So I was like, oh yeah, makes sense. Can't have zombies in the safe zone. <laughs> exactly. Then it's an broken. unsafe zone. Yeah, because you and go onto safe, the ride. safe zone has no zombies. Exactly. We go onto the ride and the actors existed after the ride. When you're going through the exit, there was two of them there. Everyone's kind of backing away from them and pushed us to the front. We started going, but then the actors surrounded everybody. Try, start trying to bite everybody and was chasing you throughout that whole long stretch of the end I don't know if they were chasing us the whole way, but we couldn't, we couldn't, we were at the front, so everyone was just like pushing us. Yeah, we couldn't us. stop running because it was pushing us. <laughs> and we, we were, were like, whoa, on. come on, man. Go to, go to, you know, Tully's. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, you need some, you need some life experience. Well, there was people coming off that ride saying that ride was the best. It was and, brilliant. You know, it, it, it just was shows how much a massive difference a two actors at the end can make. Yeah, a little bit of effort. Everyone was absolutely cacking themselves. There were kids crying coming off it. Was, I was. was just like, oh my god. I have waited so long for The Walking Dead the ride to have some live actors in it. Yeah. The amount of times they've come here and the amount of times they've said it's, it says it may help them, but it probably won't. And then when I saw that sign outside, I started to get excited. Mission it, complete. Yeah, it really does take the experience to the next level. It just makes it so much more fun, so much yeah. more immersive and gives you that horror aspect, the true horror aspect that you look for on that ride. People were cacking themselves. I loved it. <laughs> well, there is still three hours on park and we've done everything that we wanted to do today. So we're going to have some re-rides on a few things and we'll see you in a moment or two for the final review. Yeah. It's the final review. Da -da -da -da. Sean's having a peep at Hyperia. I'll show you what he can see, show her. That's where it comes out of the station. Well, of course, there it is. Climbing 236 foot into the air. On the first track walkers look at that wouldn't you just love it that first drop on Hyperia looks incredible it's literally vertical and then bends in on itself you just realize how, how vertical it was until you're here in person it's gonna be mad some honestly. of those inversions look insane and to be going however fast you are going around them, <laughs> you'll get some air time, so understand why they're saying it's weightless. Oh my god, I actually, I just want it to be open right now. I yeah. can't wait. Same here. And I'm sure so many people have already reported on Hyperia. All you need to know from us is, we can't wait, it looks insane, and we'll be here next month. 100%. Whee! Bye! And that brings our day here at Thought Park, an island like no other to an end. We have had re-rides on Nemesis Inferno and The Swarm. Absolutely love those rides, but it's been a fantastic day here as our first visit of the 2024 season. Yep, it's come to a very sudden and wet ending. We still have half an hour left on the park, but with the rain whipping our faces as we went round on Swarm, we were like, you know what? We might as well just beat the traffic in the car park because the last time we were here we got stuck in the car park traffic for over an hour so we That's are true. we are <laughs> very much trying to avoid that this time so we've absolutely loved our day here at thought park it's been good it's been fun every single ride has run today at some point so we've managed to get on all of the roller coasters walking dead ad actors yeah, uh, we've amazing. got a great look at hyperia which looks absolutely unreal in terms of height compared to the rest of the side, the rest of the rise because you look at it next to Saw I've always seen Saw as quite a daunting ride because of that drop but it looks like 
tiny next to it. Like it doesn't even look like a big roller coaster anymore. Seriously. It's, it's unreal. And on that note, yeah. we can't wait to come back no, to yeah. ride Hyperia. The next time we will be here on an island like no other will be to ride the UK's tallest, fastest and most weightless roller coaster. So all with that being said, my name's Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another video. Bye.